Just do it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a 2024 KTM 450 XCFW. There's a bunch of updates on our big wheel kit. So this is going to be a how-to instructional video. I'm going to give you guys a rundown on all the changes we did to the kit for this chassis. So let's get into it. Now KTM ended up changing the steering stops on the frame. So we have our new updated triple clamp with the steering stops built in. We're using the stock steering stem. Brand new bearing is back on. Again, this is from a 2024. So let's go ahead and install it. Now just to be fancy, we had John make us a custom nut. One big up upgrade we do on these KTMs is we actually go with the Honda style anti-vibe handlebar mounts. So you're gonna have these nice bushings that go top and bottom. And uh, we've actually got our own custom clamps, our whole assembly here. So these are cool because you can offset them forward and back. You can change your bar offset. So you're not losing that adjustability by switching to these, which is nice. And uh, again, it goes to the Honda style bushing. Got some nice uh, billet aluminum washers that we created. We're trying to keep these as light as possible and uh, some nice bushings. Let's get these uh, handlebar clamps installed. So right here guys, got the washer with the rubber bushing and the bolt. Now we're gonna go in this position right here where it's kicking it forward a little bit. Maybe our starting point. Now it's totally up to you guys how tight you put your handlebar bushings. We like to show at least a couple threads on the bottom. It's usually a pretty good tension on these. You can, run them you can also run them tighter based on feel. You guys can use your factory marks to line your handlebars back up. Get it as center as you can. Now the center of the writing is basically a a center point for that. Just uh, keep in mind, check the clearances up here. Make sure all your routing looks right. All right, check so this bolt right here is out of the flex line. Clamps. We're gonna Again, install that on our steering stem over. pinch. He's just gonna bottom that and then back it off. Just gonna bottom that and then back it off. All right, so we're gonna leave that loose. All right, guys. Now, when you're sliding the fork in, we like to put a little bit of grease in the triple clamp. We make these a super tight tolerance because we do not want floppy triple clamps and loose tolerances. Now, when you go to slide it up, push it against your steering stop and just rotate your uh, rotate your fork towards the steering stop. And what I'm gonna so go I'm ahead and do the top is, one a little bit just like that. I'm actually gonna we're gonna go to the second line. And again, we're gonna check clearances. I am gonna adjust the handlebars after, move that handguard, give it a little bit of a gap. And your next step is basically getting your uh, getting your fork centered up on each side. And go ahead and wipe the grease off. So in today's video, we're gonna just do it. We're gonna torque our triple clamps. Guys, it's right on your factory triple if you own a KTM. Just follow that right there. You said 15, Giovanni? All right. He's gonna go ahead and torque the...
All right guys, so after you torque your lower clamp, we're gonna go ahead and tighten the stem nut. And what this is gonna do is it's actually gonna draw your bearings together. This does not have a preload nut like a Honda. So this is technically your preload nut. Now we're gonna do this by feel. So go ahead and torque that up, Giovanni. Get that grease moving around, go a little tighter. Feels pretty good. I don't want a sloppy front end. You guys are adding a little bit of width to this and a little bit of weight with this tire. So you do want to run this a little bit tighter for feel. Some of these bikes, they come and man, right from the factory, the front ends are pretty sloppy. So I always tend to tighten up the bearings and re-grease them. Cool. Looks like we got lucky the tech's lined up with it torqued. So that's neat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now that that's torqued, he's gonna go ahead and take a 10 millimeter you can tighten that pinch right there. Again, guys, final step. 20 newton meters on the top pinches right here. So he's gonna go ahead and torque those and uh, get this all tuned up. Uh, he's going to start by torquing the lower and the top. He's going to go back and forth a couple times and uh, make sure they're perfect. We want to make sure this is incrementally pulled in. We don't want to just over tighten one and then tighten the other. As long as you go to that torque spec, you're not going to do any harm to the turbo clamp or the threads. The front end is going to. Another update, guys. We've got a updated front speedometer bracket. This also will double as a number plate bracket on certain models. So Giovanni's gonna go ahead and get that installed. Now we're simply gonna take the factory bolts from the OEM triple clamp. We're gonna line it up and get the speedometer installed. I'll tell you what, these orange gloves, they look good in a KTM video. We gotta get red gloves for all the Hondas. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Now, when you guys go to install your front fender, make sure you use that fender washer along with some red Loctite. We've got some holes drilled in here. We're gonna get this all squared away. I've already went ahead and rested the headlight on here. I'm gonna show you guys the next step to getting this mounted to this wide front fender. Now you're gonna see the blue tape in a lot of these clips because we try to protect these as much as possible when we're working on them. It's easy to set these on the bench and scuff them, scratch them, especially the, uh, the speedometer. We just don't wanna scratch it up. All right, it's looking killer, man. This is gonna be a sick build. So once again, guys, a bracket solves everything. So do you wanna go ahead and pick that headlight up? Now we have this set up so it goes on the pins, so go ahead and go down just like that, and then line your holes back up. All right, cool. So guys, right here we've got our bracket on the fender. It's actually holding this headlight up, and we've got these two bolt holes lined up, which is already lined up to our triple clamps. We're gonna make sure this is centered. We're gonna take a measuring tape and just measure on each side, but you can tell right now that is pretty well centered. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop two more holes in this front fender right here. We're gonna get this bracket bolted to this fender. And once that's good, we're gonna slide the headlight back on and install these two top bolts. Make sure all the wiring's hooked up and that, uh, that headlight will be good to go. And uh, you guys can see it fits really nice with the wide front fender. The orange actually matches up really nice. So super happy with it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get those two holes drilled and get that mounted. So here he went ahead and made a couple marks on it where he's gonna drill these holes. And again, just make sure you're centered. You really can just draw a line across the front and the back if you really want to uh, get your alignment. But he went ahead and made a nice line in the back. Now he's just lining this up. He's gonna pop two holes in there and I'll show you guys the uh, hardware we use for this. So we're gonna go ahead and use some of these uh, really small Phillips head screws with some uh, nylon lock nuts and some washers. 
Now, since the holes are slotted, you can just slide it left and right to get your alignment. So as long as you're starting out as close to the center as possible, don't worry too bad. You've got about a half inch of movement. We've got, again, our two pins going through our bracket right here. We've got the factory holes up top. He's gonna go ahead and use the factory bolts on the top and get that squirt away. Again, I don't want you guys to lose any steering considering we widen the clamps out. So the next step's gonna be just like on the Hondas. We've got some trimming to do on this uh, radiator louver. So he's gonna go ahead and reinstall it. And then we're gonna mark out where we gotta do some trimming to make sure the triple clamp clears it. Right there. All right, so we're just gonna check and see what's holding us up. It's right there. We're gonna actually go on the inside too. Kind of see my mark. Just wanna make sure this is not making contact with that because every time it does, you're gonna rub this and you're gonna be pushing your radiator back. Now this does not hit without the guard, but we want to make sure to run this guard. So we're just going to do some quick trimming, and get that clearance, a little bit, a little clean up. So we're going to pop two holes in here. It's going to give us the rounded corners for when we cut it, bike, and uh, see how it fits. And then we'll go back and clean those edges up. A little test fit actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna take off of this right here so it's not touching the bolt. Yeah, and we're gonna go back, clean this up with a razor blade, a little bit of sandpaper, get it uh, get it looking good and coming together. All right, guys, last uh, crucial step that's different on this uh, 24 model. So when the shroud's on here, it's actually gonna bump the plastic because this was all widened out. Now to fix that, we're not gonna actually use the factory holes. We've got an offset bracket now. That's gonna let us line that up. As I take this whole shroud, it's gonna kick it out. It's gonna get clearance up here and uh, it's gonna let the bike steer fully. So on top of, again, trimming this guy up, getting this bumped out, that pretty much gets rid of all your clearance issues that you're gonna have installing a fat tire kit on your 2024 KTM. And uh, let's go ahead and install this bracket. Slide that over. That one lines up there. So we've got the bolts bottom. They're not completely torqued yet. This is on here doing our bracket alignment. And again, this is still loose right here, so you can still move this up and down. So once this is bolted on the outside, we're gonna be able to do our final tightening and adjustment here. All right, so leave it loose. And then we're gonna move on to the bottom hole. So we've got those two installed. We're still using the slotted holes, so we're able to move this up and down like I've been saying. Yeah, it looks good. So once the other side's on, we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Then we're gonna play with our adjustments. We're gonna make sure up and down is good. We'll check for clearance. You guys can see how close everything is. But all the way over, it's clearing right here now. It's almost touching here, very, very close. But we've got clearance. We basically move these out only as far as we had to. Yeah, same deal on the other side, guys. 